mentioned a couple times before how I really relate to the squirrels at this time of year, eagerly snatching up all the fruits and nuts to hoard them for eating during the winter when everything has gone cold and gray. But I never feel more like a squirrel than when foraging black walnuts, a favorite of the squirrels and Jordan and me. And this is an exceptional year for black walnut trees in our area. Black walnuts tend to mast every two or three years, so it's a good idea to take advantage of that abundance when you do see it. Jordan has been collecting about a bucket full a day for a week now, so we've been amassing quite a nice little squirrel hoard for ourselves in the basement. wonderful way to spend a fall afternoon in the shade of a majestic black walnut tree, picking up lots of squishy little blobs of future deliciousness. If you haven't dealt with black walnuts before, the outer fruits of the nut look a lot like a tennis ball when they first drop, but they soon decay into a pile of black ooze. This outer fruit has a very high tannin content, which can be very useful for fabric dyeing and other projects, but it also has a tendency to stain the hands, so we try and remember to bring a pair of gloves when we go foraging for them. The best method we've found to clean off our black walnuts is to pour them out onto a screen and then spray them with a hard stream of water from the hose. I'm sure if you have a power washer, that would work even better. Then we rock the screen back and forth so that the abrasion of the screen on the nuts can help pull off even more of that black pulp on the outside. After repeating this process a few times, we generally have very clean nuts that are ready to cure and store. don't like black walnuts and describe them as having a sort of chemical taste or tasting a bit markery. We found that a lot of that has to do with leaving that black hull on for a long time and that's where that flavor seeps into the nut. So if you can remove as much of the pulp as possible soon after the walnut falls from the tree, you're going to have a less intensely flavored nut.
cleaning and curing them for a few weeks, which essentially just means we spread them in relatively thin layers in front of a box fan. We store them in the nut until we're ready to use them. They'll store this way for a year or more, but we usually use them well before then. crack them as needed and use them for things like muhammada, baked goods, mushroom walnut burgers, or just as a great snack. And don't worry, all these little shell pieces with the bits of nut that are too hard for us to get out will go right back to the woods to make some squirrels very happy. 